Winter is a season of recovery and preparation. And as we head towards spring, has the property market finally begun to recover? And what should home movers do in preparation for their 2023 plans? I'm Alex, and this is your winter market update for Chepstow, Lydney, and the surrounding areas. Following the September 2022 mini budget, we saw an undeniable shift in the property market. The autumn statement provided a sobering assessment of the UK economy, but forecasts for the housing market were less dramatic than the global financial crisis of 2008, where banks lent out more money than borrowers could afford to pay back, where today only 4.2% of homeowners have less than 10% equity in their homes. So this event shouldn't be compared against the market we see today. The run-up to the festive period saw a massive reduction nationally in the number of inquiries to estate agents, as well as viewings and offers being submitted, as well as valuations being booked. A far cry from the frenzied market we have all known since the summer of 2020. But the market wasn't completely dead, as some would lead you to believe. Those who still needed to move, or were financially able to, still bought and sold regardless, even if that meant accepting a lower offer or signing up to a higher interest rate mortgage, with some buyers actually welcoming the less competitive market. After two months of falls, average new seller asking prices rose again by 0.9% in January, the biggest January increase since 2020, as New Year sellers tested the market. But it's worth noting that nationally, the amount of price reductions seen in January 2023 compared to 2022 was a whopping 140% more, which goes to show that sellers who did try to cover any losses by increasing their marketing price were likely met with little to no interest and then forced to reduce their prices. However, average asking prices are still £8,720 lower than their peak in October. The number of prospective buyers contacting agents is also up 4% compared to the same period in 2019 and up to 55% compared to the two weeks before Christmas, the biggest New Year bounce since 2016. With the Bank of England base rate increasing to 4% at the start of February, mortgage rates actually fell with some lenders offering under 4%, which again is a positive sign the lenders are becoming more confident. Transaction numbers nationally for new to market and sales agreed are also very similar to levels that were seen in 2017, 18 and 19. So again, simply confirming that things have gone from nuts to normal. Year on year nationally, house prices between November 21 and November 22 have still increased by around 10.11%, which should more than cover any predicted price falls over the next few years. As history shows us, previous predictions of price falls, such as during Brexit or during lockdown, were squashed by price increases. So it's worth taking some opinions, especially that of the media, with a pinch of salt, as over the last 50 years, there have only been four years where prices have reduced. So again, history would tell us that any fall in prices will be short-lived in the long run. Since the mini budget between September and November 2022, national average sale prices fell from £295,255 to £294,910, a fall of just 0.13%. But it is worth noting that land registry data is several months behind, so we won't yet know what the true impact of the budget will be on house prices for several months to come. So that's the national picture, but how are things looking a little more locally? Firstly, in Monmouthshire, according to land registry, the average sale price from November 2021 to November 2022 increased from around 319,000 to 364,000, a year on year rise of around 14.1%. Currently in MP16, there are approximately 247 properties advertised on Rightmove for sale, of which 96 are under offer, meaning that only 38.86% are marked as under offer, meaning we are very much in a buyer's market currently, with plenty of choice and buyers taking their time to make decisions. Over the border in the Forest of Dean, where again, according to Land Registry from November 2021, house prices have increased from around 298,000 to 319,000, a rise of 7%. In GL15, there are a total of 316 homes advertised for sale, of which 98 are under offer, meaning just 31% of all homes are under offer. That's less than one in three properties. So what does this mean for buyers and sellers as we head towards spring? With more choice on the market and homes taking longer to sell, now could be a great time to try and find your perfect property. 
In previous years, buyers were forced into buying unsuitable homes as there wasn't anything on the market or it was the only one they were able to get an offer accepted on. But if you're thinking of selling, it's worth paying attention to how you price and present your home to the market with so much more competition amongst rival sellers. With interest rates reducing, the amount of valuations being booked increasing, first time buyers re-entering the market and viewing and offer numbers on the rise, things are looking promising for the 2023 property market. So if you have any questions or concerns about moving in 2023, I'd love to speak to you. So why not get in touch on the details to follow.